Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel, our website, or our social media. Reach out to me directly at tmasso at thewatchbox.com if you would love to buy this Gerard Perigo three golden bridge tourbillon and that's exactly what this watch is launched in 1991 to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the combined Gerard Perigo and Bout firm this time piece a bicentennial celebration of Gerard Perigo's most famous ever watch of the pocket watch era the tourbillon with three golden bridges patented renowned remarkably beautiful and remarkably accurate the rarely seen three golden bridge tourbillon nevertheless became an icon of the manufacturing Manufacture of Le Chaux de Fonds. Now the timepiece right here is that 1991 model in rose gold. It's beautifully wearable at 39 millimeters. If you measure it in thickness, it's also remarkably thin for a tourbillon at 10.4 millimeters thick, 44.7 millimeters lug to lug with the spacing between the lugs of a standard size 20 millimeters. Now we'll take a look at the hardware and the software and then we'll throw it on the wrist. Taking a look, you can see this is a Gerard Perigo factory strap, brand new. Alligator leather on the top, black, large rectangular scale, monotone stitch, semi-gloss with a sheer side showing you the layers of construction. If you'll note, the bars retaining the strap are fixed by white gold screws, so absolute security, no spring bars used here. And there is a full deployment clasp from Gerard Perigo in matching rose gold. Throw the watch on, well, let's throw the watch on the wrist correctly and zoom out for perspective. The watch wears easily on a 16 centimeter circumference wrist. I could recommend it for a wrist as small as 13 centimeter circumference because this is old school. This is 1990s sizing. A watch that is friendly on a smaller wrist or for those who have tastes for smaller watches, even as a unisex option, this watch shines. It's comfortable, it's flat, it fits underneath the cuff and it has immense presence. Some watches don't need size and bombast to make a statement. They do it with grace and this is an example. Now the watch features pre-19 95 hallmarks and as you can see it is a very early serial number number eight so I believe this model was built in that original flight of 1991 anniversary editions it is also numbered 90 or number eight I believe from 1991 on the reverse side tourbillon sous trois points d'or and as you can see it is exactly that a tourbillon under three golden bridges and it's glorious. As you can see, the dial and the movement are one and the same. This is Gerard Perigo Caliber 9000, the old three golden bridge pocket watch converted into a wristwatch format. Simple case, all of high polish. Take a look at the lug profiles because these lugs are welded on with evidence of the joint removed by hand. I wanted to show you that, but I don't want to get too swept up in the case because the dial and the movement are the focal point. You have three golden bridges, just as with the original late 19th century watch that was universally lauded and eventually so lauded that it was pretty much banned from competitions to let other people win at grand expositions. The dial features the three bridges starting with the barrel, transmitting to the tourbillon, 50 hour power reserve, manual wind, the tourbillon beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and it features an overcoil hairspring to help it keep excellent time in any orientation with respect to gravity on your wrist or on the table at night. I believe it is a 32 joule movement, and as you can see, it is extraordinary in that the golden bridges truly are made of 18 karat rose gold. Gold. So they are solid gold, not gold plated. You'll also note that underneath the bridges is an extraordinary engine turned and guilloche cut plate. All of the screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots as well as circumference and there's satination of all the wheels right up to the barrel cover. You'll also note the fact that the hands at center are blued beautifully, I should say beautifully, blued steel and the work in traditional fashion is outstanding, as you can see all the traditions of finishing are respected, with individually beveled sinks and countersinks for jewels and screws, and then you can see the edge of every bridge has been mirrored. That is the real hand-laid anglage, finished off with fabric or wood, not machined with a file or a, or a milling wheel. This is as good as it gets. This is truly the icon of Gerard Perigo. Yes, the Laureato is hot today. Yes, the WWTC is a notable modern evolution, but this is the real thing, the heart and soul of the company, right down to that gorgeous beating heart, the filigree style black polished tourbillon carriage. If you love high horology, it doesn't get any higher than this. And even note the depth of the style, which you can view diagonally. So few dials have that kind of depth while still maintaining coherence. I even love the dished and sloped 
engraved and satinated rose gold chapter ring or rejo that frames the watch. This is both a functional timepiece and an act of performance art by the watchmakers and finisseur of Gerard Perregaux. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Are there any flaws? Well, it's 30 meters water resistant, so I guess you can't swim with it, but then let's get back to that Laureato for purposes of that nature. This is perfect.